If you're tired of getting killed over and over again to some floating orbs, falling swords, or some of the most oddly timed delayed strikes, then you come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily, I'm going to show you how to defeat the overly talkative, schizophrenic, conqueror of kings, Fei Lin. I'll also show you the weapon that you unlock for specifically beating Fei Lin. And if you're curious to see the build that I use for this video, stick around at the end. For this playthrough, I'm using the weapon modifier's hotshot in order to use fire damage on my AR, and I'm also using the modifier bore on my pistol in order to create weak spots and increase damage amplification by hitting those weak spots. I start firing right away because Phelan did a dash in every single one of my playthroughs, clear the distance, pop my mod. He's going to summon an orb when you see it flash yellow, like right here. That's when you know it's going to shoot the projectile, make sure to dodge out of the way. I switched to my sidearm in order to deal with the orbs because I felt like it just got rid of them quicker. The head is his weak spot and it'll do critical damage. When you see this glowing light come around you, like right here, that's when you dodge back. Otherwise, he'll summon you towards him and then hit you with a strike. Dodging these strikes is really up to timing and just getting it down. If you watch his hand, that helps. I also found that if you roll towards him, it works a little easier than rolling away. Again, using the pistols, look how fast they get rid of them. I'm a handler, so I try to get my dog to attack him as much as possible. But again, we just stay focused on the head, yellow light, dodge. I'm going to fast forward to the next attack type that you need to be aware of in the first phase. All right, so now you'll see Phelan summons a wall of orbs. All you need to do is really be about 10 feet away from them. If you see a floating orb above them, attack that orb. That's the same one that'll shoot you like earlier in the fight. But as you can see, as long as you stay away from them, then they won't do any damage to you. All right, so now we're entering into the second phase of the fight. As you can see, Phelan has ascended into the sky and now he's lifting all of these swords and now the swords will come into play and that's something that you need to be mindful of. If you haven't seen this part yet, it's not really too difficult. There is a big telegraph when the swords are going to attack you. In my playthrough, Phelan increased his attack frequency in the second phase. As you can see right here, he did two two-hit combos. In the first phase, he only did one, so that's something to be mindful of. Also, you get these walls right here. You need to get out of the way like we talked about earlier with those summoning orbs. In this phase, he can also summon two. As you can see, there's one on my left and there's another one on my right that's a little bit off camera. All right, so this is the falling sword attack that I was talking about. Like I said, you can see the glowing spots on the ground. I just kind of mistimed that one. I'm mistiming a lot of the stuff in this one. I, that's why I said easily at the beginning of the video. All right, so now we're gonna transition into the third phase. I recommend healing reloading your weapons, getting your damage modifiers ready, but don't pop them too soon because he's going to turn into the spirit orb and float around the map. Pay attention for glowing spots on the ground like I missed right there. That's where the swords are going to fall. So if you see those glowing spots, you'll see the swords fall on them. Pay attention to where Phelan is. If you lose sight of him, he can dash to you across the map, and he also has a slam attack that you'll see later on. All right, so then he transfers back into that spirit orb. Again, be mindful of the things on the ground. Roll away, run away. Whatever you need to do to avoid getting hit by those, you'll also see that he'll summon a bunch of those orbs, so stay out of that space. He'll do this slam attack right here that a simple dodge will dodge it. I wasn't really paying attention. I was focused on the other stuff. So make sure that you're looking for him constantly when he's floating around while also paying attention to the falling swords and the flurry of orbs that are going around. Like I said, there's a lot going on. So there's a dash. I mistimed it again. I was ready for it, but I mistimed it. And then he'll go in for another teleport away. So again, once he teleports, you need to remember, look for him. And then also at the same time, be mindful of those swords. I'm telling you from experience. When you see him charge up in the air, you know a slam's coming, dodge, unlike what I did right there. And then you can go ahead and do damage to him. I finished him off right here. If you choose to fight Feyrin, his alter ego, he has a similar moveset and you unlock something different. If you found this video helpful in any way, please consider hitting like, and if you're new to the channel, also considering subscribing. Subscribing is absolutely free to do, and I'll have more Remnant content coming soon. And again, if you want to see my build, I'll show it to you right now. There's also Feyren right there underneath the map. All right, here's the build. Feel free to pause the video at any time. I am a handler archetype. I'm using the Elder Headdress, the Radiant Armor, the Elder Leggings, the Radiant Bracers. Here's my Dragon Heart. Pause it if you want to see it. And then moving on, I got the Black Maul with the Hot Shot. Here it is right here. As you can see, Black Maul, Hot Shot, there's the damage. And then the Atom Smasher with the Accelerator mod. 
And then I also have the Tech 22 with the bore and time wave on it. Here are my, here's my amulet, my rings. You can go ahead and pause these at any time if you want to read everything that they do. I don't want to insult anyone's intelligence or waste anyone's time. To unlock the Deceit Long Gun, which is the specific weapon that you receive for defeating Fei Lin, head over to Ava, hand her that imposter heart and the other required material, and she will give it to you. The weapon is pretty strong, but it's also pretty slow, so I'm sure you can tailor a build around making the fire rate faster. And when you use the modifier, it will go ahead and put like a little protective halo around you, so if people approach you, you can do damage to them. I'm curious to know what everyone's thinking about Remnant so far. Let me know down in the comments. How many times have you beat the game? Is this your first playthrough? Is this your 15th playthrough? What classes and archetypes have you used, and which ones do you think are the best? Let me know down in the comments. Remember guys, if there's a boss, I'll help you beat it. I've been RivTech. I'll see you in the next one.